What's up, fellas? How you doing? Uh, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what I'm working on today. Um, this is preposterous right here. This, <laughs> yeah, not gonna work. Not gonna work. So, yeah, um, so I'm gonna be changing this shift knob. Uh, these transmissions are, uh, Eaton Fuller. 10 speed yeah no <laughs> this is preposterous anyway uh the part number for this thing is uh, a 6909 if you're rolling like this man uh get you one the cheap uh uh these knobs you don't have to get an og freight line uh og uh eaton yeah uh, there's plenty of aftermarket that work just fine i've changed them uh over over the years and never had an issue with them uh i mean i think this part right here is like uh, 12 bucks 13 bucks you know just at least beautify your your truck i'm gonna be um changing it i got it in here i'll unbox it and uh get it ready for install so let me go ahead and uh get situated so i can uh take this one off and uh show you the process of replacing it yeah so it starts off by taking off this uh screw in the back um just take it off and then you can slide it down um these have a yellow line a yellow line you don't need that yellow line um that's used for like your 13 speeds and your 18 speeds all you need is the red one this one and the black one so what you do is just you know it's quick connect i'm one-handed right now so i can't take it off you take off this take off that this yellow one i'm just gonna leave it in there for future purposes um i, I you know i don't foresee changing uh these transmissions the 18 speed that would not you know that would not work i mean 18 speed on a uh on a on a uh 12.8 liter motor so uh i'm once you take those off you get a wrench just loosen this um just loosen this up you can get you know get in loosen this set 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 nut to the bottom loosen it just tighten it then this thing just screws off um let me go ahead and get that done and i'll i'll, I'll show you how it looks once you take off the the light sets and the, the set screw you just screw it off and uh, just comes off like that um, then you get the new one and you put it on so the new one comes with two lines red and black and um, you would just what you do is just drop it on and just just screw it on Screw it on, 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 screw it on. Then when it gets when it bottoms out like that, uh you get a wrench. Just straighten it so it's facing forward. Then you get a wrench and just tighten the lock nut on it. Tighten it on it. Tighten it. No, I'm not going the right way. Sorry, going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Just wondering why. Okay, once it gets on there, you just tighten it on it. Make sure you really lock it on it. Just lock it on there so that it doesn't get loose and stop moving. Uh, then once you do that, you just hook your black line. Just hook it up to the black connector stick it all the way in there then the red one you just hook it up the red connector <clears throat> and just the drop the yellow one just leave it in there if you want you can just pull it because it's not hooked up to anything just pull it it's not hooked up to anything then you just stick just stick this thing back on it stick it back on it <clears throat> then 
just use your screwdriver put the little set screws back here like that put your set screw and you put your set screw in the front and she's good to go now you, obviously you want to start your truck fill it up with air once you fill it up with air it will um then you just test it you know test it make sure it's the splitter you can hear the splitter engaging and disengaging but anyway that's the process of um changing a uh shift 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 knob controller on a truck you don't have to have that tape and crap on it it's good to go now nice and neat thanks for watching please share uh, please share like and subscribe and uh, i'll catch you on the next one